So let's move to the category factory. And here we need to add the fields. So the first one is name in English. So let's use so let's use only name or we can uh, let's define here a variable so let's use let's define a variable and we give it or we use fake to generate let's generate uh, only words only a word and here we use the variable which is the name and we concatenate it with the English EN and let's add the next one for French and French here let's change this one to FR and here we have also slug and let's use uh, the class which is the str and str we have here the slug function or the slug method and we can use it so let's import str from illuminate support str and here let's give it name so here we have slug so this is the uh, first factory which is uh, which is the category factory let's copy everything from here and move to the post where is it? the post factory so here let's add so we have uh, the title and uh, slug so let's change this one to title and let's add here a variable which is title and we can use fake to generate sentence and let's import str from illuminate support str and what we have so we have the body let's add body and body we can define another variable here change this one to body use fake and we can use the paragraph next let's add uh, what else we need we need image so the image we can use uh, fake and here we have the image url this one and we can give it the dimensions so we can use uh, 640 and uh, let's use or we can use 1040 and 680 and next we need category id let's bring this one and put it here so let's change this one to category id and we can use the model which is the category model and we can bring all the categories and choose a random id so each post will have a random category ID. So now we have done with the post factory. Let's move to the next one, which is the tags. So let's move to tag factory. And here we have only the name we can use. So let's let's move to tag where is it so this one and here we have only the name we can use or let's let's bring this one from here and put it here and move this one to the top change it to name and we can use word 
and here we have the name and we can remove also this one and use name save and now that we are done with factories let's move to cedars and first one is the category cedar so let's bring uh, from here let's bring this line and we can use it inside category cedar so here we can create also you can change the model to the category and create 10 records and same thing we can do for the post so let's change this one to post and let's create 20 or let's create 20 post and also for tags let's create 20 tags and let's change this one to tag and save now that we are done with seeds let's move to the database cedar file so here we need to call all these classes so let's remove this one this one and this one and let's change this one or let's command this part and we can use this call and we call so let's call first one is the category cedar because each post need a category and also we need tag cedar and finally we call the post third post cedar and that's all so let's save move to terminal run migration hp artisan db seed or the command not the migration so we need the to run the command which is the php artisan db seed and hit enter and we have here something wrong which is the category slug unique so let's move to the categories so not here but inside factory so here sometimes the generated or the fake word may be the same so that's why we have this problem so we can uh, concatenate it with a random integer so we have uh, 10 categories so let's concatenate it with the random integer from 1 to 10 and let's do the same thing for the post because also the post here is uh, so the slug is unique so let's uh, concatenate it with a random integer from 1 to 20 let's now try to see the database so let's run again so where is it so where is the so where is the command so this one let's run it and as you can see now everything is done correctly so now we have seeded the database the next thing we need to do is to move to the models relationship so let's do that now and we will back again to the database seeder because we need to add also to field table which is the post tag but before we do that we need to add the relationship between the models which are the tag model and the post model so let's move to the relationships 